Miami is a vibrant and popular city located in southeastern Florida, United States. It is known for its beautiful beaches, diverse culture, lively nightlife, and thriving art scene. Miami is a major hub for international trade, finance, and tourism, attracting visitors from all around the world. The city boasts a unique blend of influences, including Latin American, Caribbean, and American cultures, which is reflected in its cuisine, music, and architecture. Some notable landmarks in Miami include the Art to Deco Historic District in South Beach, the iconic Freedom Tower, the vibrant neighborhoods of Little Havana and Wynwood, and the stunning waterfront area of Biscayne Bay. Miami is also home to several professional sports teams, including the Miami Heat, NBA, Miami Dolphins, NFL, and Miami Marlins, MLB. The devastating campus tragedy involving Marlon Barnes and Tim Wainaker Lumpkin serves as a painful reminder of the profound impact that violence can have on individuals and their communities. The loss of young lives full of potential and promise is an unimaginable tragedy that leaves an indelible mark on everyone involved. This story takes place on April 13, 1996 at the, the University of Miami campus. A shocking event sent shockwaves through the University of Miami campus when Marlon Adaral Barnes was discovered critically wounded in his shared apartment on April 13, 1996. Upon the arrival of the authorities, they found Marlon's acquaintance, Tim Wainaker Lumpkins, also enduring grave injuries. Tragically, Marlon was pronounced deceased at the scene, while Lumpkins was swiftly transported by air to a nearby hospital, where she tragically succumbed to her injuries. Marlin Adaral Barnes was renowned for his remarkable football skills and held the position of linebacker on the University of Miami's team. He enjoyed significant popularity on campus and resided in an apartment he shared with his teammate, Earl Little. Marlin's exceptional talent on the football field and his prominence in college earned him a wide circle of acquaintances, including his close friend Tim Wainaker Lumpkins. As time passed, Marlin and Lumpkins fostered a deep bond and their friendship grew stronger. In a tragic turn of events on April 13, 1996, Earl Little returned to his apartment in search of his keys, only to discover Marlin in a critical state, lying incapacitated on the floor. Though Marlin was still alive, he bore the brutal marks of a severe assault. Overwhelmed with concern that the assailant might still be present, Earl hurriedly sought refuge in a friend's apartment and immediately dialed 911 for assistance. As the first responders swiftly arrived at the scene, they ventured further into the residence, where they came across Tim Wainaker Lumpkins, also gravely injured and teetering on the brink of life. The merciless nature of the attack had left her in a dire condition. Tragically, Marlin had already passed away by the time the first responders reached the scene. Despite being rushed to a nearby hospital, Lumpkins tragically succumbed to her injuries, transforming the incident into a homicide investigation. As the authorities delved deeper into the case, they eliminated robbery as a motive and discovered fragments of a damaged shotgun, indicating it had been utilized as the blunt force weapon. The initial investigation into the tragic deaths of Marlena Darrell Barnes and Tim Wainaker Lumpkins faced significant hurdles as the police were confronted with a dearth of leads. Authorities diligently conducted interviews with individuals who knew both Tim Wainaker and Marlin, yet the search yielded no substantial clues pointing towards a suspect. Complicating matters further, the victim's popularity and amiable nature on campus left everyone baffled as to why anyone would harbor ill intentions towards such vibrant individuals. After meticulous investigation, the authorities eventually focused their attention on Labyrinth Dennis, Tim Wainaker Lumpkin's former boyfriend and the father of her child. Despite their relationship being in the past, it became apparent that Dennis had not fully moved on. Disturbing testimonies emerged from witnesses who reported instances of Dennis stalking Tim Wainaker and even issuing threats due to their ended relationship. These revelations propelled the investigation towards Dennis as a key person of interest. In due course, the investigation brought to light Dennis' profound jealousy concerning the bond shared between Tim Wainaker and Marlin. He was unwilling to accept his ex-girlfriend and the mother of his child growing close to the football player. Despite Tim Wainaker's insistence on their separation, Dennis remained resolute in his determination to keep her and Marlin apart. Consequently, the authorities considered Dennis as a person of interest in the double homicide and took him into custody for questioning. Additionally, they uncovered that a week prior to the tragic incident, Dennis and Tim Wainaker had engaged in a violent altercation that left him consumed with anger. 
Furthermore, Dennis became aware of Marlin assisting Tim Wainaka during her relocation from their shared apartment to Marlin's new residence. Despite Dennis initially denying any connection to the homicides, the authorities managed to locate the concealed duffel bag he had hidden away. Inside the bag, they discovered Dennis clothing alongside the shattered fragments of the shotgun, which directly matched the murder weapon. Armed with compelling evidence, Dennis was apprehended and formally charged with the double murders. Labyrinth Dennis maintained his plea of not guilty when presented in court, but the jury found him guilty on two counts of first-degree murder. Consequently, in 1999, Dennis received a death sentence. Despite his ongoing efforts to have his conviction overturned, all attempts thus far have been unsuccessful. As a result, he remains on death row. The current status of Dennis indicates that he is out of department custody by court order, suggesting that he may be pursuing another appeal in his case. That's all for today's video, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more thrilling and crime-related videos.